Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a little haul. Um, it's gonna be body care products. I know I just recently did a video on some body care stuff, but I have gone down such a rabbit hole on just like shower gels, deodorants that are aluminum free, body washes, body lotions, things like that, because I want to like vamp up my whole body care routine and I want to do something different, something that I'm going to enjoy doing and things like that. So that's what today is going to be all about. I bought a bunch of stuff and I wanted to share what that is with you guys. So before we get started, please give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much if you do. But if you want to see my body care product haul, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, Bambi is right next to me. So if she makes an appearance or if she's making some weird sounds or she's loud in the back, just know she is right there waiting to make her move because she knows I sat down to film. So we can just get started. So I have most of the products here. There's just a couple of things that haven't come in yet. I think both are coming in tomorrow actually, but I was really excited to sit down and film this. So I'll just show you guys like on my phone or something once I'm done talking through these. So like I said, I full on went down like a rabbit hole. I was like scrolling through TikTok, YouTube, whatever to try and see like what products are the best for your body like in the shower when you get out of the shower how to just keep your skin moisturized and hydrated in the best way because as we know the colder months are coming it's officially fall it's officially spooky season and i can be really really bad about especially keeping my skin moisturized and that's something that I really, really am making it a point to get very good at and stay consistent with. I want my skin to be like soft and glowy and moisturized at all times. I don't want it to be like dry and cracked, especially with the winter coming. Um, so I got some products to help with that. I, I guess maybe I will go in some kind of order. I guess it's not really an order, but I'll start with like the shower stuff first. So the first product that I saw, everybody is raving about this just brand of body wash. And I know I just got the Necessaire body wash. I'm still going to be using that. I think I want to incorporate both of those, like maybe this first and then the Necessaire one and then the other one that I'm going to show you guys. So like a triple cleanse kind of thing, but they're all supposed to be very hydrating products. So won't dry my skin out but this is from naturium again i've heard such good things i haven't seen one negative review on this brand there's a few different kinds of body washes but i got the perfector salicylic acid body wash so it says that it smooths softens and renews for more even looking skin it's fragrance free here she comes <laughs> big stretch and now she's making her appearance so this is pretty big it's 16.9 ounces and it was only like 15 or 16 bucks so i think that is such a steal and especially for how many good reviews this has i just had to try it so i got the salicylic acid one because i heard that it's supposed to be good for like any body breakouts or uneven skin tone or anything like that and i feel like I've started getting more intense with my workouts. I started doing reformer Pilates classes and things like that, added in more cardio into my routine. So I'm starting to see some breakouts here and there on my back. So I'm hoping that this is gonna help to kind of smooth that out, alleviate that. So I wanted to try this for that reason and to just make my skin feel smooth and soft. It like, I wouldn't necessarily, it has like, say it has a smell, but there is a little something there. I don't know how to explain it. It just smells like skincare, but in a good way. So I'm excited about this one. The next product is the L'Occitane uh, shower gel with almond oil. I love L'Occitane so much, you guys. I'll get into a little bit more of that later, but I've been hearing nothing but the best things about this. I think, um, Leah from Love Island, which I've never seen Love Island, but I see her all over my TikTok. She raved about this. 
So I thought I would try it for myself amongst everyone else that's been raving about it and see what it actually does. So everyone says this smells like very luxurious and heavenly. Oh, it does smell really good. If you're into like a vanilla kind of smell, this is almost like the perfect cross between like a vanilla smell and kind of a sweet smell. It smells really, really good. And you get quite a bit of product. This is 8.4 ounces. And I think there was an even bigger size than this too. I just didn't want to get the biggest one right away just in case for whatever reason. I was like not a fan of it so if it works for me and I end up using it up I'll get the bigger size but it smells so freaking good you guys it feels super super lightweight and then basically I would use the Naturium first and then I would go in with my Necessaire body wash and then I would apply this so it's supposed to turn into like a milky substance so it's gonna cleanse your skin and then i've heard that the smell is supposed to last a long time so then you just wash it off get out of the shower and then the next steps come in so i got the keels creme de corps i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right creme de decor creme de corp i don't know let me know but i've heard nothing but good things about this and the body butter I was like very in between this and the body butter because I've also heard really, really good things about that one. But this one is supposed to be a little bit more lightweight. And I feel like when moisturizers are a little bit more lightweight, they're just easier and quicker to apply. So I wanted to mix this with the next product I'm going to talk about. So I want to see mainly how this smells because I feel like I've heard mixed things about the smell, but everyone says this is like their holy grail skin cream or moisturizer for the body. So I wanted to see for myself. Ooh, it's super soft. It smells almost like this L'Occitane, if you guys have tried this, it's like the intense like dry hand skin cream that I swear by. Kind of smells like that. I've heard people say it smells like baby powder a little bit. I don't know that I would agree with that. It has like a little bit of a vanilla to it with something else. It's not strong, but it smells pretty good. 16.9 ounces. I think there was an even bigger size and like a refill thing, but again, I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this, so I didn't get the biggest size, I got like the middle size. And we'll see how it does for me. But again, everyone and their mother has said that this is like their holy grail moisturizer, so I need to try it for myself and see. And then we have the L'Occitane Amand Supple Skin Oil with almond oil. So it's smoothing and beautifying. I really wanted to try this and again I didn't get the body butter because I've seen people mixing the Kiehl's body moisturizer with the oil and have gotten really really good results like their skin just looks so hydrated and soft and smooth and just glowy so I wanted to try mixing the two together because I do want to incorporate an oil into my routine which I do try to as much as I can, but I've been using the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum cream oil or whatever it is, but I wanted to try this one because I've heard such good things about this and the oil. So I was like, you know what, instead of repurchasing that, let me try this first. So I'm going to spray a little bit. It's like a spray. It comes off like an oil, but it has a sprayer that it comes out of. Same smell, same kind of consistency. I think the only difference is this one doesn't turn into like a milky substance. It just stays like an oil and it's supposed to glow on you. 3.3 ounces. The bottle is glass. It feels very luxurious. Smells heavenly. Looks beautiful. I love the whole idea behind it. I think the, um, the body oil, shower oil, whatever, was like 30 bucks, I want to say. Something like that. And this one's like 52 or something. Um, I'll link all of these in the description box because I can't remember pricing of all of them, but it's around that kind of range. And then 
There were two products that I also ordered online that I haven't yet received. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Curie deodorants. I've heard that those are really, really good ones if you're trying to do like a, a aluminum free, like more natural kind of deodorant, but one that's gonna still last all day and your armpits won't like stink. I've been using the salt and stone or sand and stone. I always get confused between the two names. I think it's salt and stone. I've been using that one for a while and I feel like just now, I don't know if my body's gotten used to it or what, but it doesn't last as long on me as it did before. So I feel like my armpits start to like smell TMI after a while. So I needed to try something new and I've heard nothing but the best things about this. And I'll link this one too. I'll let you guys know once I've tried it. I got the coconut smell but I've heard that it lasts all day long, that it smells really, really good, and that it's aluminum free and more natural. So I wanted to try it for those reasons. And then back to L'Occitane, this is coming in tomorrow as well. So I also got this L'Occitane Nourishing and Protective Hand Cream Classics Kit. It's like a holiday set or something like that, or just a regular set, I don't know. But it's supposed to have five of their creams. So I thought it just had a little bit of everything. It's 45 bucks, I got it from Sephora. And if it's anything like this, I'm already in love because I cannot live without this now that I have it and same goes for Henny We both use this like it's our full-time job. So yeah That is it. Those are all the products that I got in my little haul and that's everything that I'm gonna be trying and I'm gonna be consistent with using so that my skin especially this fall and winter is like very soft, very supple, very smooth, very hydrated and just loving me because like I said, I've been bad about that but I'm gonna get better. So that's it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the products I got. If you've tried them, let me know your thoughts. If there's another product that you guys really, really love and recommend, also let me know, because I'm very open to trying new things. Like this for me and make sure to subscribe, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.